Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Katie and I am so glad you're here. Today's video is something I've been wanting to film for a long time now. By the title, you can already see it is going to be all things luxury designer items that I own and that I've collected over the years. I always loved watching these types of videos and I still love watching these types of videos from other creators and just seeing like what designer pieces they have and that they love and so I wanted to share with you guys the same exact thing. I have a number of items here um, and I'll probably start with my very first designer purchase. Um, which was back in 2019, I think. But this is in, I just disclaimer, this is no way of bragging or anything like that. I genuinely love just showing the pieces that I have. I love them so much. And if you are also like in the looks for maybe one of the items that I'm showing, you can at least see it. Um, and I love watching videos that other people post. So let's dive on in. So. I I think everybody who, I mean, I think so many people have this. So this in here is the, it's my very first designer purchase ever and it's, it's the Neverfull. It's the Louis Vuitton Neverfull. I think everyone and their mom wanted this bag back in the day and so did I. I was... Yes, we love her right now. Her purpose is solely a travel bag. Um, there's just, a, I really don't use it other than that. Um, but I do travel a lot. So she has gotten her wear and tear over the years and it comes with the clutch inside. I still really appreciate this bag. Very high quality, obviously, and it's gonna be like, it's just a timeless piece. Like it's always gonna be, you know, it was a great, let's just say it was a great first um, designer purchase back in 2019. So she was my first one ever, which then unlocked the doors for so much more and so much better. But as I said, now she stays in her dust bag mostly and comes out when we go travel and go flying or whatever because it does hold a lot it has a lot of space so it was definitely a good purchase but would i recommend people to get this bag right now honestly i think there's so many other options um the east saint laurent um tote bag so cute there's so many in my opinion better options but if you have your eyes set on the neverfall go for it girl or a guy like whatever you want to do personally i think there's better out there next ones so i went to hawaii in 2020 and i got a couple items these were the next designer pieces that i got um so this one is amazing so it's the Louis Vuitton like keychain. I use this all the time. I normally have my car keys clipped on here and my like usually like a fob for an apartment or whatever. This thing is so handy. It's so small. Carries all my cards. You it's literally like the gold is it's tarnished because we use her so much. But when it comes to like worth it totally worth it because i have all my stuff in one so we love her we got her in 2019 or no 20 2020 in hawaii next one i got is this cute wallet which i am so sad to have to say i've never used i've never used her i maybe like a couple of times but it's pretty sad. I don't know what this specific wallet is, but it's a tiny, small, like it still smells brand new, but it has like the pink inside and the white. I was thinking like, oh, I, it'd be so cool to have a wallet that matches my Neverfull bag. But then I got this with it and I always just use this. 
So I'm gonna, I need to try to start using this more because it is seriously so cute. Um, so I just have to be mindful and like switch out my cards and like actually use this, but so cute, so durable. I need to use her more. Okay, the next purchase, this was finally something other than Louis Vuitton and I got, um, this is my first St. Laurent purchase in Hawaii. At the time, back in the 2020, I loved using clutches. Like, I, I never used, like, I never, like, really took my purses anywhere. And I never was a purse, like, girl. So I always used the Louboutin clutch. And I was like, you know what? I want something, like, a different color. So I got this E. St. Laurent clutch. She is so cute. It has... Um, there you go. So cute. And she had, this one had a lot of wear on it. I used this for so long. This, yeah, I can barely like, oh, the zipper is a little questionable. Yeah, this one got a lot of, oh, wow. A little stuck. Anyway, this one got a lot of use. There we go. Wow. Um, it's kind of dirty, but... I haven't used it in a long time because I've transitioned over to a purse person, but she is really pretty. Anyway, that was my first Saint Laurent purchase and it gets better. So let's see, that was in 2020 and then I didn't, the next purchase that I got, that was designer away the next purchase that I got was designer was well I have three I got all of these pretty close in time so I don't know which one is which but I'll show you so I love Saint Laurent like so much I think their bags are so classy so timeless just it fits my aesthetic I think but this bag um, this is the latest bag that I've gotten, actually. I got this. No, did I get this? I'm trying to think when I got it. I got it, I think, in January of this year, I think. Or October or something. But this is the cutest bag. It is, you can wear it long. Or how I like to wear them. Which, this is one reason why I like their bags so much. Is because they are very versatile is I love when you can flip it into a shoulder bag. It's perfect. I just love that feature because you can wear it so many different ways. But this is my black bag. I love her. I love all of it. I'm gonna say that so many times, but I do love this bag so, so much. She gets a lot of wear. Holds pretty good. I can hold like all my cards, my phone, my wallet. All of that on this like little space and size wise like pretty good love okay I got two other bags from East Saint Laurent and let me show them So next one, I don't know which one this is because I keep them all in the boxes so we will see Okay, this was my first bag that I purchased from, can you say that? She is so stunning. I love like, it's like that, pl like the plushy, like it's just like, I don't know how to describe it. She's so cute though. Um, again, I can do crossbody. I This is my preference of how I want. I love doing the shoulder bag. But, I love a good black bag. She gets a lot, a lot of attention, a lot of wear. Um, and it was my first, it was like my first real, not real bag, but like, cause like my first real purse, you know? Cause I obviously like the Louboutin Neverfull is a purse, but it's not like an everyday purse. So this was my first one that actually was more like a true, everyday purse um, and I got this in 2021 in the fall 
And then this one is my favorite. Um, again, from Saint Laurent. This is my favorite. I think this one is so stunning. So stunning. Um, she is gorgeous. So, again, the way I love to wear my bags is on the shoulder. But I do love how the feature you can do a crossbody, but... This is the detail up close. It's like that crocodile looking. And I just love the tassel at first. I wasn't thinking about getting this bag. Like it wasn't even on my radar and I was just in the store wanting to get a bag. And then I was like, I don't know, like this might be too fancy cause it has like the tassel and everything. But honestly, it really isn't. Like you can wear it with almost anything and it'll still look amazing. So, and I wanted something that wasn't black because obviously I had two black bags at the time. And so I wanted a different color. And this is the bag that I got for myself for my birthday. Um, it was between this or the one of the Gucci, Gucci bags and she won. It was so precious. So it was special because I got it for my 27th birthday. So... I'm excited to my goal is to like always get a new like bag or item for my birthday every single year so my birthday's coming up in January so we will see what I come up with but that's it for like bags wristlets wallets all of those types of accessories I have two pairs of shoes to show and then I do have some jewelry and I do have like hot takes on jewelry so I went to Dior um when I went to Vegas in 2021 and I got a couple of things I'm wearing one of them right now I got this oh you're probably not even gonna be able to see it it's a super pretty like Dior ring wasn't planning on getting this ring at all at all what i really came there for which one is it i really wanted that christian dior bracelet that i think is just so cute let me see it just has the you can't even tell you can't even see it it has the um has like the Christian Dior anyway the CD on it it's really cute it's a good pairing bracelet however however what they what you don't really think about is yes this bracelet was like five hundred and forty dollars or something like that something like that but the thing is that the ring and the bracelet, let's see. Yeah, $540 for this bracelet. And the ring was $360. The thing that is crazy to me is that these are tarnishable. So you have got to be so careful with where you're wearing this like cognizant of lotion, water, because it's tarnishable. So thank goodness, like it has a little bit of wear on it, but it's not tarnished yet. So I told myself I can only wear this out and about when I know it's gonna be in good hand, like good condition. I'm not gonna be like sweating or like getting my wrists like wet for some reason or whatever, because I wanna make it last. Same thing with this ring. Um, this is like my sets, but this little ring, it's like a perfect, like I wanted something to tie in all my rings together. So again, I have to be just like super careful and like mindful of what activities I'm going to be doing because again, I don't want them to tarnish. Also on the topic of rings, this one is, I wonder if you'll be able to see it. No, this one is... A little David Yerman ring so cute and then I have um, maybe if I just hold my head up I have the Tiffany T ring in my my middle finger it's silver I think it's so cute so it ties in my um, 
David Yerman ring, which is that one. And it has like the gold and the silver, and then I have a silver on my other hand. So that what, that's what is all my jewelry. But now finally, shoes. So I bought these shoes in just 2021. Okay, my thinking is that they were so cute. So stunning. I saw these. I saw these like on TikTok or something. I don't know where I where I came across. No, I think I just saw these in the store. I was just I was just roaming Neiman Marcus and I came across these shoes. They're so cute, right? They're they're so cute, but I purchased them, and when I tell you that they are so uncomfortable. And I bought these for $495. So for a designer shoe, honestly, great price point. These are the, these are the close sneakers. For $495, really a great, a great price. However, they are so uncomfortable. I still have not figured out how to not get blisters in them. And so I have not worn them in so long because every time I wear them, I get horrible blisters on the back of my ankles. So we're still trying to figure it out. But I would say this is like the one purchase I could, I could have lived without because, because like what's the point of wearing shoes if you get blisters all the time? Anyway, last pair of shoes. I've wanted these for so long. Balenciagas, they are so cute. I got the Triple S sneaker. Um, again, I was just roaming Neiman Marcus. Had no plans of buying shoes until I saw these. And these are the ones I've had my eyes on for literally so long. And the fact that they had them in the store they look more white on camera, but they're really like more of an off-white. But I was just roaming Neiman Marcus for fun. Just shopping around. And I my eye caught my eye caught these. And I am obsessed. And I had to try them on. I do love these sneakers. I think these sneakers go so well with like like really anything, but like I love wearing them with like sweat sets. I think they're just such a cool shoe but i will say they're literally so heavy i wish you guys could physically feel like how heavy these are i'm not kidding when like i say like this is probably at least like a three pound shoe just this one and then you have then you have this one like they are so heavy but they're so cute. I honestly don't wear them a whole lot. I still have not waterproofed them. So I'm like living on the edge. Like I need to waterproof them because there's like already like a little tiny scuff. Um, but I think too, if I did waterproof them, I would wear them more. So I do need to do that. But I also want to make these last. The thing I've learned is like, especially like designer shoes, like it's not as high quality obviously as like, leather bags like they're gonna depreciate faster so i want to make them last as long as i can so i keep the wear time down a little bit and i got these these were one thousand one hundred and fifty dollars honestly i still think the purchase was worth it because i think these are so cute even though even though I haven't worn them a whole lot, they're still so cute and they're still so new and I have a lot of time left to still wear them and whatnot. So I think it was worth the purchase. I was wanting them literally forever, so I finally got them. But, okay. That concludes my whole video of all the things that I have. I'm really excited for 
my next designer purchase because I think I'm going to branch out and step into a new designer, which, well, it's not actually a new designer, but for a bag, it's new. But I really want to get a Balenciaga bag, and I have two different styles that I really have my eyes on. So that might be my my birthday bag purchase for this coming year but that is all of my designer items to share with you guys i hope you guys liked watching this video because i truly love seeing other creators share the designer pieces and items that they have in their closets and just seeing everyone's style so differently so that's all I have for today. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys all in the next video. Mwah.